Hi, my name is Quinn and I come from Longford in Ireland. It seems like a good idea to take an old and trusted success product off the shelves, dust it off, restyle it and milk it again. Luckily it's not quite that easy, nor is it often a very successful approach. There are exceptions however. In the year 2000, Mini succeeded in restyling a car that evokes strong emotions and making it ready for the future. When Mini's head of brand communication cancelled two days before the interview, I feared that already by week three, my plan to do one interview a week for 20 uninterrupted weeks was going to go awry. It took me a lot of convincing to arrange an interview with Gert Hildebrand, head of design at Mini. Instead, I spoke with him under the watchful eye of a b and W PR lady, the highly secure no pictures please design department in an industrial zone just outside of Munich. In the fall of 1959, 50 year old, yet to be knighted, Alec Isagioni, designer and technical engineer at British Motor Corporation, laid the basis for the first design of the Mini in a series of sketches.